Annika Carley, owner and founder of Vital Life Nutrition. I am a certified holistic nutritionist and a self-taught chef. Today, I'm going to make one of my favorite holiday treats, vegan eggnog. First, you're going to add two cups of vanilla almond milk. Now, this is unsweetened almond milk. Um, I just bought the Trader Joe's brand because I was there. Really, the best is to make your own almond milk. So this recipe serves about two people, a little bit more. Um, I did the vanilla almond milk, two cups of that, one cup of your light coconut milk. You want to make sure you shake that up good before you pour it. So this is a nice creamy base of our eggnog. Next, to give it some body, you add a nice ripe medium to large banana. And this all goes in the blender. You don't need a fancy blender for this. Now as a sweetener, you can add a little maple syrup, depending on how ripe your banana is or not. Or you can add some dates. So today I have these beautiful dates here. I'm going to use four dates to sweeten it. Next, we're going to need some almond extract. So I use one teaspoon of that. And then, of course, you need some spice. So I actually like to use a nice, generous amount of organic cinnamon. Cinnamon is great to help you regulate your blood sugar, and it's also a powerful antioxidant. So it's great when you have something sweet to have some cinnamon in it. Now, today I'm going to do about half a tablespoon. I love cinnamon. It's one of my favorite spices for sweet or savory foods, and it does really give sweet foods kind of the idea of something sweet. Next, nutmeg, one of the most important ingredients. I think this is what really makes it what it is. Um, I do about half a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. You can buy these little nutmeg pods. They're amazing and beautiful, um, and it's best to grind it fresh. So that's about half a teaspoon or so. For you Next. There. Sort of the secret ingredient is I'm going to use the um, beans from a whole vanilla bean pod. And so to do this, this is a Madagascar bourbon vanilla bean. Um, if you've never used vanilla beans to cook with, they are quite interesting. So this is the bean. It's kind of an oily outside. And you want to take a nice sharp paring knife up. And you use the back of your knife. Just and see, you get that beautiful vanilla bean. Just gives it great fresh flavor. If you don't want to spend the time or energy or money to buy the fresh vanilla beans and do this, you can always just add a teaspoon or so of a nice um, pure vanilla extract. And now we're going to put the top on and give that a whirl. That looks like a nice consistency. I'm going to do it a little bit longer just to get the dates broken up. And then this is what I usually like to do. Last but not least, one of the most important ingredients is going to be your bourbon or you can use brandy. Um, I love this bullet bourbon. So that's what I always put in mine. And so you don't, you know, render your guests unconscious. It's nice to just add a small shot to each glass as you go. And this recipe makes about two, two or so generous cups. And then you want to garnish it with a little bit of fresh nutmeg. A touch of cinnamon for the color. And there you have it, vegan eggnog. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. I love it.